the, the short answer of why I wrote this book is that I got interested in the 1970s. Now, if I can ask the, the group of questions, like, is there anyone here who was alive in the 1970s? <laughs> you know, that is, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I was alive too. But, you know, I, I was alive, but I, I am pleased to say I was a kid and I didn't really, you know, know what was going on. I was sort of aware of the Patty Hearst case, but I certainly didn't cover it or follow it all that closely. And, and when I started work on this book, my, my working assumption was that the 60s was the time in America when there was craziness, and riots, and assassinations, and, and unrest. And the 70s was the time when things sort of calmed down. So wrong. So wrong. The 70s were insane. They were worse than the 60s. Let me give you a statistic. In the early and mid-1970s, there were a thousand political bombings a year in the United States. That is not a typographical or a verbal error on my part. Uh, think about that. Think what Fox News would do with a thousand political <laughs> bombings a year. Um, there were two hijackings, skyjackings a month. Remember skyjackings? Planes going to Cuba, actually. They, they often would stop here on their way. Um, and, um, and, and the incredible violence that was, that was prevalent in the United States, especially in the Bay Area. You know, I came of age, as I suspect many of you did, thinking of San Francisco as this glamorous, beautiful, wealthy um, community that was kind of this, you know, this golden place in the United States. In the 1970s, Warner Brothers wanted to make a movie about the toughest, meanest detective in the United <laughs> States. So they wanted to put that detective in the worst city in the United States. So Dirty Harry, Clint Eastwood, is a San Francisco detective because that's what San Francisco was like in those days. Remember, there was a television series called The Streets of San Francisco. It wasn't about, like, the tech industry. <laughs> it was about all the horrible crime in the city. It was a time of um, um, serial killers in San Francisco. The Zodiac Killer, still unsolved to this day. The Zebra Killers, who were this group of, uh, of black Muslims who just went around randomly killing white, 